Jenga basically describes how we look after our bodies really, really well. Our lifestyle and perhaps things that we were doing on a daily basis may actually be weakening the very sort of ecosystem that we're living in, okay? Like our house, like the body is like a house for the soul. Um, and Jenga is a really good analogy for this because what happens is bit by bit by bit, we start to weaken ourselves. Hello and welcome to Own Your Health with me, Katie Brindle. Now, today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about Jenga. <laughs> now, Jenga is a really popular game. I love playing it with my kids. And when I was playing it with my kids a few years ago, I was thinking, you know what? Jenga basically describes how we look after our bodies really, really well. OK, because what happens is um, most... Most of my audience, anyway, certainly has been born sort of end, end of the 20th century, beginning of the 21st century, sort of that, that sort of time period. And at that moment in time, we were kind of brought up with the model of you just kind of live your life and get on with what you're doing. And um, if you get sick, you're going to deal with it then. We don't really think about the fact that our lifestyle and perhaps things that we were doing on a daily basis may actually be weakening the very sort of ecosystem that we're living in, OK? Like our house, like the body is like a house for the soul. Um, and Jenga is a really good analogy for this because what happens is bit by bit by bit, we start to weaken ourselves, OK? So think of yourself as you're born and in your youth as a like a nice solid game of Jenga. You're basically ready to go, okay? You're solid. And then you get sick. Okay, well, if you get sick, you can just take a little piece out. You're going to be okay. You put the piece back onto the top. This is, of course, assuming that you've got a strong constitution to start with, okay? Because if you've got a strong constitution to start with, like this game of Jenga, I can start taking out bricks fairly easily because my constitution's pretty good. So it's not really going to start to wobble for quite a while. Now, if, on the other hand, you're somebody with a weak constitution, you see, I was born with a weak constitution, which means when I started, my body was already starting to wibbly wobble before I even got off the starting blocks. And that is what happens to us. OK, so as we remove those bricks, bit by bit by bit, we weaken our constitution until eventually the pieces come tumbling down. And then suddenly we go... Why am I ill? Why has this happened? Oh, I must have inherited it. Where did this come from? And as an, as an Eastern practitioner, we look at illness as a failure to actually look after the body in the first place. And there is that myth that people always say to me when they go, oh, you're a Chinese doctor. Um, they go, isn't it true that in ancient China, you used to pay the doctors to keep you healthy and then if you got sick, they treat you for free? And actually, there is some truth in that, not entirely, but it was to a certain extent. And the reality is, is that this is the healthcare model that we need to be moving towards, which is we actually need to look after ourselves in the first place so that we don't get sick. And if we do get sick, that we understand why we've got sick and what it is that we were doing wrong in the first place, which will come from various different reasons, which I've already explained in previous podcasts, so that you can reconstruct yourself and rebuild the building blocks of your health and start to feel strong. Now, I think, interestingly, having been born with a weak constitution in the first place, so my Jenga game wasn't great in the first place, so I would have been one of those children whereby people go, why are you always so ill? Why are you always in the doctors? Why are you always catching every cold? Why are you always feeling so tired? Why are you so sluggish? Why were you putting weight on at eight years old? And it was because my Jenga was weak before we even started. And the trick to navigating self-care and healing is to always consider yourself as everything that you should be doing in your lifestyle is putting these pieces always back in. Your daily activities will be constantly taking things out. If you had a bad night's sleep, out comes a piece. If you had a late night, out comes a piece. If you had a big fatty meal um, and drank loads of beer, okay, um, and I don't know, smoked some cigarettes, for example, out comes two or three, two or three of these little pieces. If you um, are extremely stressed at work and you're not sleeping properly, more pieces come out and slowly but surely these pieces come out. So what you've got to do, because I'm not sitting here saying, therefore, don't do any of those things. Don't ever have a late night. Uh, don't get stressed at work and uh, don't take on more than you can cope with. Because the reality is, is that modern living actually expects us. It, it, it requires us, should I say, to do these things. It is very difficult to balance our health in, in a modern life. We are expected to do so much on a day-to-day -day basis. But the trick is to be constantly putting the pieces back in. And this is why self-care and the 
messages that I give you in Own Your Health is so important because for every time that your life requires you to take a brick out, you need to think about putting a brick back in. And the simplest way of doing this are these one minute techniques, which I talk about all the time. If you look at my three step plan, I've distilled it down into three simple steps of one minute each that you can do, which will make a massive difference to the body. Because the body, like Jenga, actually can strengthen itself back up again quite easily. All you have to do is be very, very aware of what you're doing each day and thinking this is the kind of debit that's going on over here. These are the pieces coming out. And therefore, over here are the credits, which are the pieces coming back in again. Thinking about regularity, thinking about diet, yes, but also thinking about using the gong each hour and giving yourself breathing exercises to do whilst you're in the middle of something else. Giving yourself a rest in the middle of the afternoon. Trying to have two or three early nights per week where you would go to bed early and do extensive self-care before you go to sleep. Things like that. Sups changing excessive cups of coffee and excessive cups of caffeinated drinks, perhaps for herbal things, making sure that the water that you're drinking is very, very heavily filtered, making sure that you're not eating things cold out of the fridge or out of the chiller cabinet when you're grabbing lunch, thinking about the fact that your body actually prefers warm food or room temperature food. These are the sorts of things that slowly but surely will put the bricks back into your Jenga and will create a strong constitution. And one thing to say, to just sort of finish this pod, is that when you when you get sick, because we do get sick, we catch colds, we we burn ourselves out, we we overtax our bodies and things do sometimes just get a get a grip of us and sometimes we are just ill. It is really, really important to give yourself enough time to recover. Um, one of the things that I'm always saying to people is if you're going down with a cold, don't soldier through the first day. The first and most important thing that you should do if you get sick in, in a kind of common symptom like that is to go to bed and allow the body to fight it off right at the beginning, not soldier on through and go, oh, I feel really grotty, and then wonder why 20 days later you're still suffering. OK, and then you've got to go to bed. You've got to try and work with your body and give yourself enough time to heal properly and give yourself and your body what it needs in order to get well. So in answer to those questions about what do I do to get well, you're in the right place because every single one of these podcasts is going to teach you everything you need to know. But for today's pod, it really was to say, think of your body like a game of Jenga. As you take those bricks out, make sure you're popping them back. And for that, please, as one of your bricks, please don't forget to rate and review me on Apple Podcasts, follow on Spotify, and please leave your comments on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. And I look forward to speaking and seeing you next time. (laughs) 